well, you might well wonder why on a balmy 16 degree Sunday morning in Scotland I'm wearing my jacket. It's because it's raining. <laughs> oh dear. The forecast last night when we went to bed was for minimal cloud cover, very little wind, and that was it. So I thought, oh, excited, <laughs> gonna go sunrise. No. When I woke up this morning, I looked at the weather forecast, it said 100% cloud cover and 80% chance of rain. Mm. Hey ho, I'm in Scotland. The fact that we haven't got any wind, excuse me, I'm just clambering over some rocks. Um, the fact that we haven't got any wind is pretty darn nice. It is so calm. We are about an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes off high tide. Which is fine because I really don't want to be any further away from this subject. The sky is pretty darn perfect and there's a bit of a haze on the horizon which is doing a really good job of blocking out the mountains in the distance. Let me just put the tripod down. That's better. <laughs> I'm amazed at how calm the sea is. I say, barely a breath of wind. I can feel the rain hitting me. Not heavy rain, just a little bit of rain. But luckily with no wind, hopefully it's just gonna come straight down. So I'm not gonna get wind blowing towards me. Oh, I can't believe that. I'll turn you around in a minute. <laughs> Pesky birds just landed on the subject I'm shooting. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what it is. It's a long, thin neck, so it could be a gannet, I suppose. Um, Yes, hopefully with the rain coming downwards, as opposed to horizontal, I might have better success keeping my filters clean. So I'm going to get a wriggle on. I've got two locations this morning. Uh, the other one's down that away. And I was very tempted to shoot the harbour that I slept in this morning. Or oh, I didn't sleep in the harbour, I slept on the harbour car park. But it was just too busy. But beautifully calm. Reflections were phenomenal. But I'm, I came to shoot this specific, spe specific, specific subject, so I'm going to get the camera out. Composition-wise, there's really not a lot you can do, unless you get a completely outgone tide. Outgone tide? Tide when it's completely out, when you can probably walk a bit closer to it. Um, but other than that, it's kind of fairly straightforward. Not rocket science, but beautifully. Minimal. I can still feel the rain. Very, very light. But it's flipping warm. So I've decided to say stuff it, I'm gonna get wet. <laughs> I've lined the mark post up, which is a beautiful mark post. Now I've lost my filter. I've stuck it in a slot that it doesn't normally belong in. Just bear with me while I find it. Um I've lined it up dead centre. There it is. Because it's only half the size of the brads. Because the Lee um, six and ten stops are square filters. I've lined it up with the beautiful marker, absolutely dead centre. I'd love to tell you that it was really difficult, but it's not. <laughs> I am at full reach on the 17 to 55. These rocks are actually slippier than they look, so I'm trying to be a little bit careful. I'm popping the six stop on. The sun is arising how oh, that away? So, <laughs> bloody bird still sitting there. I think it's a cormorant. It's got a really long neck. Um, I don't think we're going to get any light at all. But what I have managed to do is... I don't really want to put a grad on, but the sea is darker. Just a smidge than the horizon. So I might bite the bullet. I think it's only going to need a point three. I don't want to put a 0.6 on because I think that'll be too dark. Looking in there somewhere, yep, there's no point 0.3. I am finding occasionally with the Hohem, it doesn't like to follow me. I suspect it's to do with my hand movements. Yeah, that's better. Now I'm on F8, ISO 100. We are focused perfectly on that. 30 seconds is not going to be long enough, so I'm going to stick it onto timer and let it cook. Oh, it's so warm. 
Well, I thought I'd have a, show you what we've got here. Um, I've obviously taken all the filters off, but you can see that the horizon is virtually non-existent. And the shade of that beautiful marker thing, complete with cormorant up on the top. Depending on how blurred that cormorant is, I might clone it out. I don't know yet. But he, he wasn't sat there when I arrived. <clears throat> and he, as soon as he saw me get the camera out, he plonked himself down. And I didn't get a chance to show you, but the water is that calm. I've just seen ducks floating past. I don't think I've ever seen ducks on the sea before. Not in this sort of environment. <laughs> it's bizarre. But yes, I've tried it there, as you can see, where I've got it over onto the left. And then I've put the marker post dead centre. And I think I'm happy with both of those. As I say, I'm at full reach, I'm at 50 mil. And I like that, it gives me options. I can square crop in closer, or I can leave it in its native um, format. Yeah, I think that's quite a good morning, even though it is blue and it's raining and there's no sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? I probably look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards because heat combined with lots of walking and sleeping in strange places where there's lots of noise going on isn't really conducive to looking like a supermodel when you get out of bed. Not that I ever do. Beautiful horizon out there. There's a couple of boats, boats, ships, and there's the most amazing V-shaped mountain right in the middle of nowhere. I'd love to know what it is. I'm going to have to get maps out and have a look. There's a little bit of driftwood just floating across in front of this. We're, as I say, we're on an incoming tide. I don't think I'm in any danger yet. It has come in about six inches since I've been stood here. Let's have a look at that. Oh, yes. And even the bird managed to stay still. That is 58.3 seconds. The horizon is so faint, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to wait for that piece of driftwood to disappear. If I wanted a closer image, I think I'd have to, well, I would have to put the 70 to 200 on. But I think I quite like that as it is. I'm going to try an image with it offset to the left. At the moment, it's dead central. So I've got the option of going square, or I can leave it in native which I think is 16 by 8 I think it could be 16 by 12 one of those I'm not sure but I can put it on the left hand side and then have lots of negative space out to the right hand side Excuse me, the water is now beginning to come in, so I'm conscious that I need to be making tracks backwards. I thought I'd just give it a shot without any filters at all. Oh, that's strange, isn't it? So I've set up at f8 and 116 of a second. If anything, on the histogram, that's going to be slightly over towards the right. I'm just trying to get my histogram up with my left hand, which is never a good move because I'm right handed. It's really over on the edge towards the right. I'm pushing, I could go a little bit further, but we'll get, we'll live with that. ISO 100, two second timer delay. And I don't actually dislike that. Oh, there's a very strange patch in the sea showing through behind the marker sort of a, a, a goldy colour, almost like a sandbank's coming through, which would be difficult because it's an incoming tide. I don't know what that's all about. It's, it's certainly not catching any light. But yes, one one six of a second works surprisingly well. And as I say, I can... No, that's closing it down. It's just over... Right, one one third of a second is... With the histogram is pushed up completely against the right-hand side of the image. Two second timer. No filters, get me. And I quite like that. I've got, excuse me, I keep swapping hands here. I've got my white balance set at 9,900 kelvins. Oh, yeah, the water is definitely picking up somewhat. I might have to make a move in a second. It's the most action I've seen all day. I've now dropped it down to 
daylight, which is 58.80, and that's bringing out a little bit of blue. So we'll try that. I've reverted to having the beautiful marker, slap bang center, press of the button. Yeah. Yeah, with and without filters, that works. Right. I'm now going to try and pack up without falling in or dropping the camera because, as I say, these rocks are incredibly slippery. And I'm going to take a wander to my second location. I've just walked down onto the beach, and as I walk down, I've seen the heron on the whatever that sea defence is. What a wonderful bird, and he's posing perfectly for me. I fired off a couple of shots. I think I was at f3.5. I, put, I tried it handheld, but I was having to up the ISO, which I didn't want to do, so I popped, it onto the, popped the camera onto the tripod. I'm shooting on the 70 to 200, and I think I got it down to 1 1 25th of a second. He's beautiful, isn't he? Didn't expect to see him here this morning. Oh, what a great way. Right, I'm going to take another shot just to make sure I've got him in focus and then I'm going to shoot what I came to shoot. Oh -hoo! 